All right, so it seems like we're actually getting closer and closer to Battlefield 6. Now, I did find some new things you might be interested in. Fat Battlefield Central, and if you want more Battlefield content, be sure to subscribe. Although we were very far from the original game, I still found a few new things that might interest you. Battlefield's new investor call is only a few days away from our eyes. So we did talk about 128 players and how this might affect Battlefield. Well, you probably didn't know, but I was talking about AI bots in Battlefield 6. Battlefield 6 bots were actually being rumorly tested. To give you some context, Battlefield 1 bots were actually being somehow developed and looked into, so in the future, we can see bots. Now you might see this as a terrible idea, but to the contrary, it's actually a pretty good one. We can all see how Battlefront 2 worked out. Bots are not actually a bad idea. Let's see what Lossie had to say on that. These new bots know when they need to reload, when they need to heal, or when they need to go seek out some ammunition. They play the objective. They help each other out. What's crazy though is these bots, or agents as they're referred to, actually learn. Rather than be hardwired to do certain things at certain times, like most characters such as single player AI bots, these seed bots learn from what they've done in the past. Maybe these seed-powered AI bots can be introduced to Battlefield 6 in a completely different way, not in the way we all expect to see them. So why is there such a high chance of us seeing bots in Battlefield 6? Well, the game is rumored to have 128 players, and 128 players on the older consoles is very hard to maintain. Simply due to frame rate issues and lag issues, such a thing is very, very hard. Showing us Battlefield 1 bots before didn't make much sense. But now it can actually tell us something. Since AI is advancing so fast, DICE actually used this to their advantage and could put some type of soldiers. Either it be soldiers that you can call in or soldiers that you simply play with on objectives. This could make a lot of sense and it's not excluded that we could be seeing more than 128 players. So what I mean is 64 versus 64 and a few bots to spice things up. Now this might be a theory, but it's a very plausible one. We already saw what Planet Side 2 was capable of, and that game is very, very old, but still very well made. DICE confirmed that this is gonna be a game like never seen before on a massive scale. And on a massive scale, you really need a lot of players. A massive scale requires a lot of players that can operate the vehicles, land, and air support. And it's very important to note here that bots could be just defending objectives while the main players use everything to their power to fight. So don't be surprised if you see any AI bots in the new battlefield, regardless if it's an air support or if it's infantry support. Now let's get to the best next thing. That is DICE actually teasing us with a bit of a waiting time. So they posted Bernie Sanders and the new meme at DICE, which I found very funny. DICE replied with Bernie Field and someone had the audacity to ask about Battlefield 6. So what Battlefield reply with is just wait. This could be meaning that we either have to wait, which is a very simple theory, or that something else is coming very, very soon. Now you're probably thinking, why does this matter? Well, it's very important to note that DICE is very much known for, for not teasing anything unless, unless it's very close. And this is exactly what might be happening with Battlefield 6. Now, this is something very, very interesting that I found in the comments. I have a friend from the inside and something is happening very close. How reliable is this guy from a Reddit comment? Well, not very. But the comment he said wasn't anything about the info or the gameplay of Battlefield 6. It was simply addressing that something is coming soon. And this could be very, very likely. All the previous games we had so far were released at a similar date, according to Lossy. And yes, 
I definitely think that something is inbound soon and I'm very excited to see that. We should take such theories in a grain of salt. And even Jack Frax himself said that the Battlefield 6 is not going to be in World War 3. It. It's set in World War 3 and it's literally just made up. It's all made up. So don't believe it. But sometimes things are intentionally teased, even if they were not supposed to do so. And this is exactly what this channel had in mind, revealing such little teases that might be or might not be in fact true. Speaking about leaks and teases, let's address the teases we had last week. Teases such as Battlefield 6 being also on previous gen, Battlefield 6 having 128 players and more. So as I promised, I told you I would actually look into what these Battlefield leaks mean. And to tell you very bluntly, such leaks were in very early stages of development and were teased already as in April, August and so on. Are these leaks still true? could be if they in fact are, but it's very, very likely that Battlefield 6 is completely different to what it was, let's say, seven months ago. Most of the features such as a Battlefield Battle Royale could be in fact scrapped simply because Warzone has already taken place. Is that a possibility? Most likely, but it's also a possibility we're gonna see Warzone. However, I just don't see it for now. Such a leak was simply made at the exact time as Warzone was popping off. And it would definitely be a good idea for DICE to look into Bowery again. However, I don't know if, you know, what's gonna happen next in the new Battlefield. Are we gonna see a Battlefield 3 reboot? This is gonna be a completely new franchise. We will know very, very soon. What we do know for now is that the new Battlefield had a teaser already, a teaser of its own kind. It also showed us that, you know, outside of the map battles, such in Battlefront could be happening and the destruction we are seeing is just enormous. Considering Battlefield 5 still has very, very good graphics, it's very much possible that it's going to be very similar graphic-wise with the Battlefield 5. What's very, very interesting, so listen to this carefully, is that Warzone itself is going to have 200 players, or already does. What's really important to note here is how Battlefield 6 will reply with this or respond to this. Will they have more players as well? Most likely not, due to new gens not being capable of that. But what could happen is we get 64 versus 64 with some AI. And I definitely think this is a possibility. Now, with a lot of leaks being out there, a lot of people are saying it's true. And a lot of people are saying it's false. Who is right here? Well, no one, except someone that is working at DICE. And that being said, don't be surprised if some of these leaks actually end up being true. For now, all we can do is wait, as this is the info we have. This is everything you need to know about Battlefield 6. Hopefully you enjoy. Be sure to subscribe. It will give you more free content for you specifically. And this is Battlefield 6 Central. Sign out.